in a quiet field in northeast Wales on a beautiful sunlit morning in July, the peace and tranquility of the Broughton countryside is about to be disturbed as preparation gets underway by Raytheon corporate jets to bring to fruition many months of design, engineering and production activity that will see the Hawker U-125A search and rescue aircraft for the Japan Defense Agency take to the air for the first time. During these two days in July, the significance of which no one has any doubt, last-minute operations are cleared, final inspections are carried out, and clearance given by design and inspection to fly this aircraft, a milestone that so many people have worked long hours to achieve. The pilot completes his pre-taxi checks. The engines are started. The chocks removed. And the aircraft moves for the first time with the thrust of its own engines to carry out power checks and high-speed taxiing. Day one comes to a successful conclusion, and the aircraft is prepared for tomorrow's more important business. First flight. Right, well here we are then to brief for the first flight of the U-125A aircraft, the first aircraft in the U-125A program. Our aim today is to complete a production test flight of 8245 within its chosen envelope prior to the complete development and certification of the aircraft in the UK. The flight should take between two and three hours, and we fuel endurance for up to five hours. Uh, the call sign that we will use will be Avro 17. The weather today is good. Uh, we've got a light uh, southeasterly wind. The cloud is, is well above our limits. Um, visibility here is about 10 kilometers, and the weather reports for our diversions, which are Wharton and Liverpool, are also good. This was the day for the Hawker U-125A search and rescue aircraft, when theory started to become reality. Flight location was out over the Irish Sea, then on up towards the Scottish air traffic control area.
After three very successful hours, the aircraft returned to Broughton and in front of the watching workforce touched down in almost perfect conditions to receive the plaudits of all those lucky enough to witness this momentous event. Let's hear the views of some of the key personnel involved. First, Simon Caldicott, the production director. The beauty of, of something like the Hawker is that it's small, it's fast, and obviously it provides a much cheaper platform on which to operate these major variant roles. Congratulations, thanks very much. Right. Thanks. 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 Had an excellent first flight. The uh, aircraft flew just as if it was an ordinary 800. We'd uh, managed to fly up to 40,000 feet and to the full uh, flight test envelope that we'd set ourselves with no difficulties at all. This first aircraft will undertake all the aerodynamical testing for the project. The second aircraft will undertake all the avionic systems testing and the third aircraft will undertake the mission <laughs> systems testing. And they will very shortly be joining this aircraft in the flight test program. Like any new aircraft, uh, today commemorates a major milestone, not only for the pro project in terms of the first flight for this search and rescue aircraft for Jap uh, the Japanese, but obviously is also a big milestone and a marvellous achievement and credit to the workforce here at Chester who've been so dedicated to putting this aircraft together and meeting today's uh, flight. And the final words from Steve Lynch. It's our intention to become a world-class manufacturer. A good example of this is to say that uh, there is still much to do on the project, so now there's less distance to go.